Hi, I'm a customer success manager at Sumo Logic. Today, I'll talk about the data tiers available in Sumo Logic. The data that we're sending to Sumo Logic is not created equal. It varies across many different dimensions. One variation is the number of users who access that data. For example, we may have just a single user using a given data set, or we may have the entire organization accessing it. More important data sets might be used by a broad array of users compared to an individual user, or only some teams. Next is the frequency in which we access data. We may have some data that we're accessing on a daily basis, like production type logs. And we have other data that we may only access weekly or monthly. For example, a security compliance or audit type scenario happens pretty infrequently. A third variation of our data is by size. We may have some small, low volume data sets, particularly in the business intelligence. And there may be super large, multi terabyte data sets for production applications. Lastly, the data that we're using differs by its performance. We might have super high performance requirements for our production level logs. We might need to see that in real time and then therefore we have those requirements. If we're looking at it weekly or monthly, we certainly don't need the best performance. So with these dimensions in mind, let's see how that translates to use cases. If we zoom in on DevOps and Site Reliability Engineering, or SRE, we have two pre-production teams, Dev and QA. They may be using those logs on an intermittent basis to troubleshoot and prepare for application releases. They'll use the data to debug certain issues, but they won't necessarily access it on a super frequent basis. If we contrast that with our production logs, those are helping us maintain customer experience and are going to be pretty important. The same goes for debug versus error logs. Here, you can see the search only use cases for frequent or infrequent access. In the security and compliance domain, the DNS logs are a good example of a high volume log that we may not necessarily be using day to day. Unless we're having some sort of a security incident and we need to really drill in and get some additional context. Cloud trail logs, on the other hand, we're probably monitoring pretty frequently to understand who is doing what in our AWS environment. Similar search only use cases for frequent or infrequent access are listed as an example here. Ultimately, you get to decide what data you're using and in which ways, how often do you need to access it, and so forth. Sumo Logic's data tiers provide an economically priced, comprehensive solution for all types of data that an organization has low touch, high touch, and everything in between. Data tiers provide tier-based pricing based on your planned usage of the data you ingest. So how does Sumo Logic's licensing help you? This table shows a high-level overview. Our licensing introduced two additional tiers, frequent and infrequent. The idea behind frequent is it is search only. So any data that we route to the frequent tier, we're going to be searching frequently. And we have no limits on that data for the frequent tier, so we can search that as much as we need to. On the other hand, the infrequent data tier is the same thing as frequent in terms of search only. However, it is on-demand usage and a fraction of the cost. We're going to consume Sumo Logic credits based on how many times we're scanning and searching that data. For continuous and frequent tier, the costing is per ingest GB, which is inclusive of all features. However, for the infrequent tier, the costing is charged per GB of ingest and based on each search. The takeaway here is because our data is not created equally the value that we're getting out of it is going to differ. And ultimately, we need to decide what that value is. Sumo Logic licensing tiers help us solve that problem by giving us the right flexibility to match that to the value that we're getting from the data. I hope this helps you get started with the data tiers available in Sumo Logic. Thank you for joining.